name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God. Amen. Hello and welcome. In our previous episode, we looked at the special prayers that the priest prays silently after the fraction, and they were the prayer of submission to the Father and the prayer of absolution to the Father. But in today's episode, we will look at the signings before confession where the Holy Body blesses the precious blood and the precious blood blesses the Holy Body. So the first thing is the signings before confession. The priest takes the spadicorn, which is the centerpiece of the bread, which symbolizes the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Between his finger tips, his right index finger and thumb like this, and with it signs the precious blood inside the chalice in the form of a cross, like this. And then he dips the extremity of it inside the chalice and carefully raises it soaked in the precious blood and again signs the precious blood inside the chalice, like this, saying, The Holy is for the holy people. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And sanctification be the Holy Spirit. Amen. Note that when Abuna says, The Holy is for the holy, he warns and cautions those who intend to approach the holy mysteries that they are for the holy or penitent people only who regret their sins confess them to the priest, and remain faithful in obeying the commandments. Now concerning the word holy, or in Greek, agios, it cannot be translated into good. It means more than good. It means those who belong to God, the holy ones. St. Paul calls Corinthians the chosen agios, saints, that is, the chosen people of God. He, the priest's invitation, can be translated to the things of God are for the people of God. This invitation for receiving the communion is addressed not only to those who are perfect, but also for those who are striving to become perfect in Jesus Christ, not by their own power, but by the Holy Spirit. The people of our God are called holy because of the unity with the Son of God. We are members of this body, of His flesh and of his bones. As long as we remain united with him and preserve our connection with him, we live in holiness, drawing to ourselves through the holy mysteries the sanctity which comes from the head. St. Augustine says, Be holy because I am holy. If they say that they are not holy, they are insulting the very head. Abuna then brings the spadicorn back to the paten with his left palm under it, lest any pearl or drop of blood may fall. With the spadicorn, he signs the pure body with the sign of a large cross, like this, while praying, Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the sanctification are, is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Note that the dipping and lifting of the spadicorn in the blood demonstrates three points. That this body is for the blood and the blood for the body. The unity of humanity with the divinity. And three, the baptism of Christ which commemorates the Lord's death and resurrection. The congregation responds with, one is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the priest's cautioning, the holies are for the holy. The people respond, far from it. We are no saints, but rather unworthy sinners. Only God is holy with his three hypostases. We can say that the true holiness and true worthiness are partaking of the feed mysteries of Emmanuel, our Lord, is to rid ourselves of the burden of sin and its bitterness, confessing it and striving not to return to it, then approaching to the Holy Communion in reverence with tears of repentance. Recite, my beloved, with the congregation this wonderful spiritual song, One is the Holy Father. As if you are standing with the seraphim 
chanting with them their eternal praise, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of your glory. When the priest perceives the submissiveness and humility of the people in daring to approach the holiness of the Lord and his awesome mysteries, he gives them a peace and reassurance saying, Peace be with you all. And so the congregation responds with, and also with your spirit. Recite quietly this supplication with the congregation to your father the priest, wishing him divine peace, as by his peace you have yours. For the second time, the priest anoints the wounds of the body with the spadicorn, saying, The holy body and the precious and true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. The priest makes the sign of the cross twice over the holy body with the spadicorn. The first time with a large cross over the whole body, like this. And the second time with a smaller cross over the inner part of the body on the crosses where the spadicorn once was. He then applies the spadicorn dipped in the Lord's blood to the wounds he made in the body during the fraction by placing the spadicorn on each wound around the body, going from the inner part of the body to the outer part, and this is called the dying of the wounds. This dying of the wounds is performed as if to soothe the wounds of the Lord endured because of our sins. However, nothing but repentance and submission dresses the wounds of our Lord. Then the congregation, in true faith, responds with Amen, believing the words of the priest. For the third time, Abuna signs the body, with, uh, as done before, but this time he prays, the holy, precious body and true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Uh, uh, amen. Again, the congregation responds with Amen. Note, the three signings of the body with the spadicorn soaked with the blood also refers to the three days that our Lord remained in the tomb before his resurrection on the third day. Abuna then turns the spadicorn on its back, like this, holds it between his right thumb and right index finger, and raises it to the chalice, again with his left palm apart, open underneath. He then makes a sign of the cross over the chalice, and raises it to the chalice with his left palm under it, under it and carefully place, does the sign of the cross, with it, and carefully places it in the chalice while saying, The body and blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is so in truth, Amen. After thoroughly cleansing his hands of any pearls on his fingers, the priest covers the chalice and the paten with respective veils after putting the star on the pattern like this, without of course using his right thumb or index finger because they have the blood on them. Note, the spadicorn is placed upside down in the chalice, for when they crucified the Lord of God, who carries the sins of the world, they laid him on his back to nail him on the cross. As they began to place the nails in his hands and feet, the blood gushed out and covered his pure body. The congregation then respond by saying, Amen, I believe, confirming and affirming the priest's saying and confession. It is worth mentioning that this response is mentioned in the singular form. This means that every individual believes and has personal faith that these holy mysteries are the holy body and blood of Emmanuel, our God, truly and without any doubt or hesitation. So in today's episode, 
We looked at the signings before confession, where the holy body blesses the precious blood, and the precious blood blesses the holy body. In our next episode, we will look at the priest's confession prayer, special prayer before the distribution of the holy mysteries, and some notes about taking the holy communion. Thank you for watching. God bless you, and we'll see you in our next episode.